You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Awkward After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Awkward After Show. Oh, are you gonna I sing? thought you were going to sing for us. <laughs> I was really waiting I for only sing the chorus with oh. everyone helping me out. Oh, okay. Thank you. Well, in the meantime, <laughs> hey everyone. It is After Buzz TV's Awkward After Show. It's season four, episode nine, My Personal Statement. And I am your personal host, Tiana Hobson. Oh. Yeah. Personal. Personal. Host. Personal. personal. Yeah. <laughs> I cater to your needs. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. I'm not surprised. <laughs> and we're already starting off the show great. <laughs> and I have two awesome co hosts who I'll let introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Christina Zias. And I'm Jason. And you have to take us out to dinner before you cater to our needs. <laughs> exactly. Um, Five star. That's not true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and joining Taking us off early. Tonight. <laughs> I know. Early. Woo. Early. And joining us tonight, we have a very, very special guest. We have Kofi Sarabo. Kofi Woo. Sarabo. Woo. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who is Lissa's <laughs> newly adopted brother straight out of Africa. Straight out of Rwanda. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We thought you were going to be a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have no. an accent on the show, though, right? I do. Can you talk I about do. that accent? I can't really put, you, you put yes. me on the spot. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's good. It gets me, you know, but uh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I have to say that was one of my favorite moments of the season when really? Lissa's talking about her new adopted baby brother, adopted yeah. brother, brother from Africa and you're yeah. just thinking okay it's Every, everybody everyone's that. thinking it's he has so like a baby funny. and then there you are a grown <laughs> yeah, man yeah. talking about the bottle like, yeah, yeah. yeah it's never been seen before it was awesome I loved it. <laughs> that was great um so a little bit about you so how did you get your start in acting man it was a while ago it was one of those like cliche mall stories just people always approach my mom and she finally took it serious one day and we just kind of just kept with it. It started with just like commercials and print work and later on it got to like film and TV and I just stuck with it. Like I really like it. I stopped playing basketball and I was homeschooled for, for a couple of years. Like I made a lot of sacrifices that, you know, a normal teenager wouldn't really do unless it was something I really, really wanted to like pursue. So. That was that was kind of like the beginning, and I'm still still sticking with it. You're doing it, yeah. So that's trying. Awesome. Are you going to be on more episodes this season? I am. We have the finale coming up next week, which is a double header, so it's going to be an hour mm. episode. Oh, okay. And we go um to Big Bear for some for some interesting stuff. So the the spoiler. Trip. Yeah, 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 yeah. We saw the snow in the preview, so we know. Yeah. <laughs> see some fancy stuff will happen. It's going to be fun, though. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I can't wait to see what happens with your character because I hear that yeah. you know he kind of comes in and. <laughs> has he has an interesting storyline coming yeah, up? Yeah, definitely. What um, Tyler, Tyler, he he's he's curious and he's just happy to be in America. So he's just gonna follow that curiosity. And his sister is his like little little sidekick. She's just helping him out with everything. So she, the whole family. If you see like my mom, she's just super loving, <laughs> <laughs> super loving. So you know, there's gonna be a lot of interesting things that come up without me saying too much, but, but it'll be fun. Is Tyler genuine in like actually being like new to America or has he played this poor white family? Um, he's it's like he's it's a mix. He's definitely genuine. He's he's happy to be here. This is his first time in America, mm -hmm. but he also does know the role he plays. You know, like he's not oblivious to the way his mom is like over the top. And <laughs> I don't think he's oblivious to the whole dramatic like, you know, Lissa and her her Jesus. comments. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I, I do think he is still genuinely happy to be there. It was something I, I actually was wondering when I took on the role, like Chris and Mike made it very clear, like, no, he is very happy to be in America. It's his first time. You know? Okay. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Is that the ideal family that you would want to be adopted by on the show at least? Or would you prefer Sadie's family with Aunt Allie or Jenna with Jenna's? Crazy Mama? I would love to be with Jenna. 
I or mean, would you want Val to adopt you? I love Jenna and I love Greer, so I can honestly say I'm so happy to be. I'm so happy to be with them and be be a part of their family. <laughs> if I had to be a part of another family, though, I'm in love with um Sadie's Sadie's um aunt. I mean, if she was my if she was my mom, or aunt, or whatever, adopted it, like I just love her to death. I couldn't. I would love to have scenes with her. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Aunt Ali is a trip. Aunt yeah, Allie's she's crazy. <laughs> I wish she was at the reunion tonight too. Oh, yeah, that would have been a that ahead, would have been a shit show yeah. though. <laughs> Definitely. She's so funny. I love her. Um, well, great. yeah, let's talk about the reunion. So Val has her high school reunion. I'm in love with Val, by the way. Val, <laughs> Val was hot. Tonight. Yeah, she was. She, she took that fanny pack off. She's and... every, even with the fanny pack. Like, I think. <laughs> well, we saw her in so her swag. underwear. Yeah, that was awesome too. Okay. <laughs> Jason, is that all you wanted to say? Yeah, that was it. I kind of want to tell you guys something about I'm her. I'm like, Christina, how do you feel? I yeah. Okay. Over there. I think I saw her last night at the Grove. Oh, really? And I was like super awkward. Really? Like, I couldn't be more how awkward. Like, her kid almost ran me over, and I turned around and I was like, <laughs> and I was like walking towards my car, but I like lingered there for a little bit, like are a you creep. Serious? <laughs> yeah, Fan and you should have told her. And then I did, and I was like, "Wait a minute, are you?" And she's like, "No, I just look like her." But it was serious? her. Oh, that is funny. It was her. Wait, it was actually her. I feel like and I'm right now. I just right look now. like her. You are. I was like, "Oh, I okay." I was this. like, and then I was like, "Oh, because I'm a really big fan. Like, I host an after show for it." And she's like, "Oh yeah, no." I'm like, uh huh, <laughs> yeah. You like quiz me? Is that Desi? I can't. I think it was. Yeah. Does she have two boys? I'm not sure. I feel like she has some kids. I think I, guys, I, I hope, hope she's she really tall too, right? Does. Yeah, she is. She is. It was for sure her. She That's played so me. funny. <laughs> that that is so, hard. She played the you really the hard. Thing is, I yeah. could see her saying that. No, it's just, I just somebody yeah. looks like me. And I like, could, I get it. She was like playing with her kids. You know what I mean? I hope she comes. And I look like a creep, probably, because I like linger. Are you? <laughs> or I uh, hope that she said it, but meant it as a joke. If you what took I'm her saying. serious, like, yeah. like and like you were like, oh, or she's okay. like, nah. <laughs> nah. she's trying to be so? sarcastic. I, I was, that's what I was gonna say. It could have definitely. Been I mean, a joke. it could have gone that way too. Yeah. I can be like very gullible. You're so on. mad at her, right? She's no, so mad. I was. I actually wasn't gonna even tell you guys. I was kind of embarrassed. By it. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it working yeah, up in your. Okay. I was thinking about something. That happened. Though. That, that happened. happened. So sure. there you go, Desi at the grove. That's so funny. <laughs> um, and in tonight's episode, she has planned this whole reunion. We, I mean, I don't think we knew this, but I think it was pretty easy to put together that Val probably wasn't the most popular student in high school when Val, she was there. What was it? Val you know what? Gina? Val, Val Gina. Gina. Yeah. <laughs> I thought she would be like the slutty stoner girl. Right. And I, I guess know. she was just like the crazy girl that had a hermaphrodite yeah, or something. Soul. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously yes. some things don't change because she's still pretty crazy yeah. Yeah. in high school. Right? Yeah. yeah. She's probably been rocking that fanny pack since high school too. Yeah, so. apparently. They probably thought it was covering up her parts. <laughs> that's why she's <laughs> hermaphrodite. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, well, she also gets Sadie's food truck to cater the event, which we're, we're going to talk about that separately. Before we talk about food, <laughs> we want to remind everybody to eat healthy. And you can do that by buying Maria Menounos' Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness that on is. Amazon and Target and wherever books are sold. Wherever books <laughs> And it's got a lot of good tips on how to exercise. And there's pictures if you're not good at reading like Tiana. <laughs> so I would recommend it. It actually has really great... Um... What's it called? Recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Those things yeah, you use. No, cook. honestly, though, I'm really excited uh, about it because I like to cook. That's and dope. Those are meatballs. Yeah. So, oh, those pictures, said, yes. I yeah. wonder how Sadie would cook them. Oh. Uh, bringing it back to Bring it back. Yeah. Bring it back to we just like... That was, that was good. good. <laughs> yeah. So make sure you guys check out the Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness. Um, support Maria. Um, she does a lot for us here at AfterBuzz TV. So we're going to do our part to give back to her. That was um, really inspiring. I yeah. know, right? It was very cute. Well of said. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, so speaking, or back to the show, Val had a crush on Stevie Shea, mm -hmm. who, you know how... Most of the time when you go back for that 10 year reunion, well, I haven't been back for a 10 year reunion. I'm talking about all the movies. Mm -hmm. And the guy who was super hot in high school is fat with a beer gut and has three kids. Yeah. Stevie and Shea was still hot. Hot with a little dick. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, I mean, we didn't know that at first. <laughs> so. 
<laughs> until Val told us. You could us. totally tell. Yeah, don't you think that would get around <laughs> in high school? Yeah, yeah. Like, how was that not a rumor in high school? Maybe they maybe you didn't know any better in high school because it's like or maybe you don't have a lot to compare it to. Woman, yeah. they didn't have the internet China. back then. Right, so there was no know. pictures of it on the phone <laughs> around. Ew, gross. Well, Val, um, you know, has a hard time talking to him at first, but then with the help of her good pal Lacey, who's always there by her side, gives her a little pep talk, sends her back over to talk to him, and he invites her up to her room to his room. And then it's there that she doesn't know if they actually had sex or not. What do you think they did? Val I mean, she obviously yeah. saw it. She's, She's interesting, so who knows? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would love to know what she whispered. I, I know. Right? I, mean, I, I feel like it was something really freaky. Probably. Like, really freaky, but not I sex. I don't put that past her. Yeah. <laughs> and Lacey's like, nope, don't worry. Nope, doesn't, doesn't, count. Count. <laughs> doesn't count. I do that all the time. <laughs> <doesn't count. laughs> it's normal. It's yeah. normal. Right. And then the best part is that his wife then overhears, and his wife is the one who was going around calling her Valgina. Valgina. So oh, my God. Clearly, they deserved each other. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I like even before that how Lacey gave her a little bit of a makeover too. Yeah, yeah that was dope. Yeah, it was really. She sweet. looked good. And I love how Val ended her own Val twist to it at the end of the night too. <laughs> yes. Very inspiring. Just always be yourself. <laughs> and if people don't like Aww. you for who you are, then screw them. Hashtag be yourself. And then if you do, and they find out they have a little penis, run. Yeah. <laughs> Far away. <laughs> We're learning so many life lessons tonight. <laughs> yes. They have a little penis. Run away. <laughs> That's what you should take away with you. <laughs> um, and I want to talk about what was happening at the food truck. Clearly, Sadie is not with Austin anymore. And insert Sergio. Who I love. I know. Hello. Hello. Sergio. Sergio. <laughs> Hola. Wait, what is he? I don't know. Okay. We don't know because everything she was saying was racist. Everything. So we can't repeat it or it's inappropriate. <laughs> as always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. as always. Um, so he's the sexy... Shout out to Nico. Yeah. Shout out to Nico. That was his first episode. First episode that, right? premiering tonight. He, he did was, good. I was hanging out with him earlier, so he was he was mad excited about this this premiering, and I think it was awesome. Oh, that's I exciting. Never, I didn't see him shoot this, so it was dope to see it with you guys, but but it was cool. He was, like, good. It was really yeah. cool. It was really amazing. Good. I loved it. Will he be in some, more? I don't know. Okay. I can't say I don't know. I can't say. You can't, so, like, okay. can't yes. say. Oh, yes, you don't know because there's a difference. No, no, we know how to read these things. Okay. Okay. Cool. We're, see okay. you next season. Yeah. Shout out to Nico. <laughs> read between the lines there. Um, yeah. I don't know where he came from, but he came in kind of sassing Sadie right back and talking about her voluptuous bosom. Mm -hmm. Sadita. That's yeah. Sadita. 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 <laughs> Which, by the way, don't you guys think that this is the type of guy Sadie needs? Like someone who yeah, can give yes, it right back to her. Because yes, mm -hmm. yes, Austin yes. was really cute and everything, but yeah. Too. But Austin was like her first boyfriend. Now she's ready for a man. Yeah, you're right. He was the boy <laughs> I know. before the man. Gotcha. The man in the, the food truck. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Sadie's got something extra funky up her butt because she's being <laughs> really mean to everyone. Wow. wow. Right. What? It was true. Shout out to Molly, too. Yeah, yeah. Molly. I mean, How she's great. <laughs> we all know that we I We were talking about what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, she was being extra mean to everyone who was ordering food, who was working, working with, with her. Because, you know, you had Jake and Lissa there, too, helping out, like, volunteering, I guess. Did and... you guys feel a little something, something between oh, those yeah. two? Oh, yeah. The sparks come out. I forgot they used to date. I know. I did, yeah, too. I like, way, too. way back. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. I feel like it was before... I mean, not that she's crazy, crazy, but Lissa wasn't quite as crazy when they were together. But yeah, I that's always, true. That I was like right before. Wasn't that like yeah. first season? Or yeah. Like first season, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was before he dated Jenna. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Then tomorrow. Because wow. then remember, Damn. Lissa was trying to break them up because she still wanted to be with Jake. Oh, yep. When they were together. Yeah. But maybe maybe we'll get a little Jake and Lissa action going back on and we'll see <laughs> how Tamara deals with that. Because I don't think she would care. You don't think she would? I mean, she I just she went totally crazy care. white girl on him and had yeah. the whole fake I know, account. I love, I love what Ashley was doing. The way she stood up to um, Eva. Yeah. Oh, was yeah. That Jenna. was so good. But, um, yeah, that was that was dope. I like that. <laughs> um, And I want to talk about our favorite BFFs, Jenna and Tamara, because it's kind of sad. They're turning in their college applications tonight, and they're mm -hmm. not going to end up going to the same school, it doesn't look like, because... 
Correct. Um, Jenna really wants to go to that school her boyfriend's at, which I don't remember that school's name. Is it something fake <laughs> and made yeah. up? It's like, yeah. It's, it's like, like UCS. Or UCS, yeah. LAF. <laughs> of college. Of yeah. college. Yeah. <laughs> California. California. This scene reminds me of like every Hannah Montana, Laguna Beach. <laughs> every show I've ever watched where the right. best friends split apart. Totally. And it's very sad. I kind of wish that. I feel like Jenna is selling herself short a little bit. And, and I want to know what other schools that are on her list. Okay. Like, I don't want I her to just saying. go to college because of her boyfriend. Right, 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 right. I think that was like the because she was already looking into that college anyways. So She's I think then she got. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think then she got there, and then it's like, oh, added bonus. Yeah, right. totally. And now that's why. But I don't think that was her initial. Maybe she won't get in. That'd be kind of funny. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, then we'll get another season, so that might be good. <laughs> like, I'm saying she doesn't get in, like she has to repeat senior year. Of no, school. Jason said that, but yeah. I was just like, she wouldn't get in. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I, I mean, know. I know. Oh, oh. Yeah. Someone knows. He's not giving away any I answers. Can't say not yet. I'm playing. I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it'd be I think it'd be good for her to get in, but I also I'm like you, I don't want her to choose the school because he's there, because what happens if they break up right. before she even gets there? And then she's like, oh, it's awkward now. It's like, no, there's a whole campus full of young college co-eds and men <laughs> to go experiment with and do the fun things. I just feel like crazy party yeah. Jenna was yeah, like totally. short-lived. Go college, yeah. <laughs> I know, she does. Yeah, everybody needs to go crazy. Yeah. Like, they're all four years of college. You don't need a boyfriend. Yeah. All she four had, years? Yeah. yeah, of course. All four years. I thought that was like freshman year. Or... No, oh, no. that was like freshman year up until now. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I mean, when you go to the University of Virginia. College mm-hmm. in <laughs> fantasy land, I think that you can afford to party a little bit. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, so they have their girls night where they're um, going to submit at the same time. And Luke drops in. And I thought that what Jenna did here was great, especially because we've talked a lot about how Jenna can be a very selfish friend sometimes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I love that in this moment when Luke was there and Tamara was like, OK, I'm going to go get my bag. I guess Bestie's night is over. And she tells Luke, like, hey, we have plans like you got to go, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that she did that for her yeah. friend. And then they go get some froyo. She's been making together. good decisions. Yeah. She's yeah. growing up. I'm digging what she's doing. She's, she's growing up. She's Aww. growing up. She's growing up right before our eyes. Yeah. And I mean. I know. Actually, think about how crazy she was. Like, I don't know, in TV time. What was that? Like Are three you, months like, ago? Yeah. <laughs> Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago before she started. With Colin. Yeah. Before right. she started getting her act together for college applications and what stuff. What if Colin comes back now? That'd be crazy. That'd be I would really love crazy. for Colin to come I would love back. for Colin to come back yeah. too. Um, so let's also talk about Jenna's ma- um, social media makeover. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you think kids are doing this? This. I, I feel like we had to. That. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they used to make us do that in college. Like we when you. App- it was for like when you applied for jobs after right, college. Right, right, but right. it was like, and then I realized I wanted to work in TV, and I'm like, oh, after this, <laughs> just start drinking on Facebook. Oh really? Right. Yeah. I feel like my Facebook is. I keep it really private. Like I had to go back and filter through and hide every single album I had. Oh really? Yeah, mostly wow. for my boyfriend. No, oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, for jobs. You know what I mean? Just because. I don't know. It's fun to put everything up there while you're in college. I thought it was afterwards. funny, like when the parents got Facebook too, though, because that was so accurate. Right. Yeah. Like my that's how my mom found out I started drinking. Oh really? <laughs> She's like, "What is that in your hand?" Like, Shut up, <laughs> Wait. Do you guys want to hear about my dad getting Facebook? Yes. He got it, and he like took a really weird profile picture. So we all made fun of him so much that he just ended up deleting it. Are like that serious? was it. The entire Facebook. <laughs> yeah, like we bullied him off Facebook, <laughs> but it was like an awkward like selfie picture. We're like, Dad, what are you doing? Doing. You cyber bullied oh, your dad. You that's my dad. so funny. Totally. <laughs> my dad's the same. Yeah, <laughs> the right. Same. This is funny. Definitely not like what Kevin. But yeah. the, my dad's different because he thinks he's really savvy and he's like telling me things, like giving me tips. Like you don't do it this way or don't do it. This way. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is totally meant for you. Right. Um, yeah. My dad tries to hide on Facebook. I actually got in trouble for calling, really? for calling him out the other day. He like tries like, to hide stuff from you? Like, like, right? like, he, like he doesn't use his real name. He uses right, like a fake right, name. Right, yeah. right, and then he right, kinda, right. we call him like the Facebook creeper because <laughs> right. he like goes around liking like stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like that's not even your name. <laughs> that is Isn't it like a business or something? Yeah, it's like, it's like a business. That's so the other day too. I totally called him out on it, on my status, and I got in so much trouble. Are he like serious? threatened to disown me for oh a while. It was really funny What type of stuff does he like? 
I mean, just like our pictures or like our friends oh, stuff. Okay. And my friends were like, who is this person? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, don't worry. That's just my dad. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. That's hilarious. That's the same thing my pop says. Yeah, it's, it's so, so funny, funny how yeah. parents are on social media. I mean, not to make fun of you now, parents, right, but, yeah. you know, you guys know I get a lot of, I'm sure we all get phone calls like, how do I get my oh profile my picture to change? Yes. I'm yep. not, it's, there's no button. It's like, just like click. They, it's the settings. Yeah. Settings. <laughs> like, we all just, settings. Like, it's like, okay, next time I see you, I'll take care of it. Don't right. worry. <laughs> um, but I really love that Tamara went through the, you know, they took all these pictures of Jenna mm-hmm. wearing like the same outfit, but <laughs> posing in different places. Doing right? math. And in my mind, all I could notice was that she's wearing the same outfit in every picture. Right. And that's one thing <laughs> on everyone's Facebook. You're like, oh, I already have too many Facebook Amazing. photos. Yep. Yeah. In that, that outfit, dress I can't so wear that true. dress tonight. Or like, you got to filter on. it in black and white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good trick. That's very, that's yeah. very good trick. That's it's very good. He knows. He knows. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Jason's the queen of social media. <laughs> Well, I love how they're, like, getting into a little argument, too, over a math equation, like, a fake equation <laughs> that's written on that little white dress. That is really board. funny. Yeah. Totally tomorrow to get very offended. <laughs> yeah. But she's they, efficient. Yeah, she, she is. is. <laughs> um, so they go out and have their ice cream, or their froyo, I should say, and they come back and they finish out their girls' night. And I just thought it was a great kind of, especially, you know, senior year, it's a lot of nostalgia going on. And for mm-hmm. these two, I feel like they haven't had a lot of bestie time. So I love, I love that they got to have this moment. Yeah. I thought yeah. it was really good. Anyone else have anything else to say um, on that? No. no. <laughs> Except I'm going to say I was so worried about Jenna not applying on time. That's what I thought was going to happen. Or I <laughs> yeah. thought she was going to send Maddie's essay instead of hers, hers, which I guess we don't know if that happened or not yet. Right, but essentially, because it happen. seemed like they were like building up for it, and then it wasn't going to happen. And honestly, Eva, right, that mm. naughty, dirty girl. Yeah, let's talk about that. Bad word. <laughs> Do you know what? Eva, is Eva the bad word. I think mm. after meeting her last week when she was in here, now I'm like kind of rooting for her in the way I root for Sadie, where I'm like, oh, you might as well sabotage her. Right, it's right, funny. Right, 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 right. Really? Yeah. Like, I'm, I think I'm it's not. just kind of fun. No, I liked her. She was yeah. really cool, Elizabeth, as a person. But I can like separate the two very much, and I think Eva sucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, she sat right there where you're sitting next really? to me, and was like the sweetest girl in the this world. But I'm still like, I hate you <laughs> I so much. I know. You know I that watch feeling. it. And the, I know her, so it's even weird because <laughs> yeah. I watch it. And I'm just like, oh, like I just want to tell her. Like, I just want to tell her, like, yo, like. But it just, it's uh, she's good. She does yeah. her job. She's really, really well. good. What I think yeah. is really interesting too is obviously Sadie is the biggest bitch ever, but we all love her. Right. But I think part of it is because we know a little bit more of Sadie's backstory, like right. where this anger comes yeah. from. We have no idea. Whoever it is, she just comes off as very pretentious. I think that's the really cool part about it. Like, we don't know. Like, she's yeah. just this mm-hmm. phantom character. Well, and I think Sadie, too, is like, I'm a bitch and I know it. Where right. Eva's like, I'm super sweet. Right. And then totally. she's a bitch right. behind totally. her back. She's two-faced. Mm-hmm. She's two-faced. That's two-faced. the word. That's what she is. That's what gets me. How is she going to try and... What bothers me, too, she doesn't even attack Jenna. She's really hurting Maddie instead. Right. I think she's hurting both of them, but I want to know why. Because after watching this episode, I feel like she came to this school with a plan about those two, about getting them in a fight or something. I just feel like she came That's why here with she an came angle. To Palace Verdes. I mean, where'd she come from? You know, she said tonight another probably. I think you watch too she... many like spy shows. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I don't think it's that serious. I well, I mean, she said tonight when her and Maddie were at dinner that, you know, oh, I met the chef last year at New Year's in Vegas and he's been begging me to come. And I'm like, I don't believe anything that comes out of her mouth anymore. I think she's a pathological liar. Yeah, I think maybe. that's true too. But I don't think she came to <laughs> the school <laughs> specifically to I sabotage the relationship. I think she came specifically to sabotage Maddie and Jenna. <laughs> you think whatever you want, TT. <laughs> so why don't you tell us what really happened? Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Everybody's opinion is interesting. So what's <laughs> the what, truth? What's the truth? I don't know. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you do. don't know or you don't no, want to share? I, I, Tuesday, man. Tuesday. I'm watching. Oh, man. I'm waiting. Okay. Oh, that's I'm a good little seeing. tease. I MTV, like that. MTV, man, they, they don't play. <laughs> they don't because every time when you watch <laughs> the play. teasers, you're like, damn it. Yeah. I need more. Um, So Maddie wanted Jenna to send over his statement that she was now, helping him with. Now, hold up. Did she write the statement? Because I didn't. I thought she should have deleted it. No. <laughs> Whoa. Because I think I, I remember him that's asking crazy. her. I know. <laughs> I know. That's really busy. <laughs> he asked for her help, and he sent her a version, and I think she was helping him beef it up. Mm. Right. 
Because it kind of seemed like she did most of it, is what I assumed. And if that's the case, I say delete it. He's got a new girlfriend, she can write it. Right. No, no, but like she's trying to keep but him like as a friend. He's she's not over. trying to like, screw his no, life over. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, I, I agree. Damn, Thank no. you. I feel you. It's like, come if, on. Like, if you can't get into college on your own you essay, you don't girl. belong. Yeah, you got a new girl. Like, she should handle that. Yeah. I but I they're feel friends. Like they're friends, and the only reason why been... there's any anger, animosity between them is because of the new girl sabotaging it. Whoa. No, because well, people yes. can't really stay friends when they start dating other people. That maybe doesn't happen. Maybe Schoolers Jenna is like still. She did cheat on him in front of all of their friends and family. Yeah. So maybe this is her trying to like right. you know make. But peace then he embarrassed her in front of the whole school with his stand up. Like I feel like I feel like they're pretty equal. He apologized for each that, other. Though. Yeah, so sort of that wasn't, They're all that like, wasn't like trying to attack her. Is more just yeah. I mean, but his, he was think about up. if Colin was in the room, you wouldn't be able to stop yourself either. So she wasn't necessarily <laughs> trying to attack Maddie. Yeah, that's true. I guess sometimes I, I things just happen. <laughs> I do get that. Oops, my f- clothes fall off. <laughs> like what? Anyway, so Maddie wants his statement from Jenna. Jenna says that she will email it to him that night. Mm-hmm. She does that. Eva. <laughs> that little hood rat. <laughs> um, she takes Maddie's phone when he's freaking out about if she sent it yet, and she deletes the email, and then sends and then plants the seed in Maddie's head about, oh wow, Jenna must why is she being so weird to right. you? And oh, I she must that. not be over things. And you can just see her like planting the totally. seeds and everything. She's kind of a genius. Minds. She, I mean, she's a mastermind. It's That's why I think she came here for a reason. I think you're reading a little too much into it, but <laughs> I like how ballsy she is because most people would not just be like, delete. She would just be like, oh, we'll look later. You know what I mean? I am yeah. so happy we would never date because I feel like <laughs> you would break my heart. <laughs> just fine. Jason is just a heartbreaker. Just don't mess with me. <laughs> but don't you, I've totally done that when somebody asks you to check their phone and you're like, oh, okay. Right. You delete scroll. stuff from No, their phone? you read all their text messages. Uh, oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. everyone's done I that. Say everybody's guilty. Yeah. yeah. Don't act like you have. Don't act like you ain't done it, Christina. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, <laughs> guys, I don't think I've ever done that. Ever? No. Ever? So if I handed you my phone right now, I was like, oh, could you read that no, text? No, not like, <laughs> would you read like no, but everything? Somebody, what did you say? <laughs> no, but somebody like, let's say Steve, your boyfriend. Yes. When you started dating, he said, Hey, can you see if my ex girlfriend texted me? Wait, you and you opened up the conversation. Would you not scroll back a little bit? Okay, this is how crazy and how funny I think I am. I used to go into my boyfriend's phone mm-hmm. and make like change my grandparents' number. I think I've told you this to like Maria Hot Body, <laughs> and then I'd be like just going through his phone. And I'd plant all these things. And I'd be like, "Who's Maria Hot Body?" <laughs> and he'd be like, "I swear, I don't know who that is." Like, and I'm like, "Booty call? Who is Booty call?" And like, I thought it was hilarious, but I that's like it. really the only time. Oh, but mostly because I'm always like, stay out of my business, so right. I try not to be hypocritical. Oh, okay, right, right, right. When you got, but two I'm not phones, perfect. I'm just saying. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jason, I read your text messages all the time. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I know. No, you don't. No, but I don't even think it's that big of a deal that she read his messages. Whatever. She yeah, just right. scrolled through. But it is a huge deal that she deleted the email. Right. That's messed yeah. up. Yeah. That's, that's huge. And then, um, you know, she takes that selfie of them at dinner, posts it. It's like, oh, my God, we already got 20 likes. Oh, Every cool. You do that, too. Don't even <laughs> lie. <laughs> 20? Like, come on. <laughs> um, but... And then they see that Jenna's out at yogurt and Maddie's like, oh, she has time to be at yogurt, but not time to right. send me my essay. So Which, that's why I'm on team, I don't know whose team I am. I don't think he deserves the essay. If she's going to send it and right. she's helping you, you do it on her time or write your own freaking essay. Right. I think he's freaking out too because there's a deadline for it. He. But maybe you shouldn't wait till the day of to ask for I it. I do know what you mean. Like, he is being an asshole to her. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He is. Right. But I think that the only reason he's being an asshole is because of the seeds that Eva has planted in his mind. Right. That would, on- that would only get his reaction to be asshole. Right. No, because what did he say? In Remember when he walked up to her in the cafeteria? He started it out. No, nope. that was Eva, still Eva. Yeah, that was Eva still from Eva. last week said when she went over there to get yeah. him to oh. bail her out, he said, uh, yeah. oh, oh, Jenna, Jenna didn't want to help. Right. She just said, oh, it's not my problem. Eva's right, problem. Eva back right. in She's here. Yeah. She's See? a problem. So it's, it's all going back to Eva. Yeah. Either yeah. way, Maddie, write your own essay. <laughs> right. 
I mean, yeah, he just needed a proofreader. He doesn't trust his parents. They lied to him. <laughs> <laughs> um, so at the Froyo shop, there's like this big standoff. And I was proud of Jenna in this moment, too, for not taking Maddie's crap, even though it was, you know, not right. fair of him to be so demanding. But I was kind of like, ooh, Jenna, do you really want to send your ex-boyfriend into your house? Like, oh, you know where the key is. Go Go get the essay I know. yourself. They're really close. I guess. Yeah, yeah. it's like I thought about. Boundaries. I think she was just saying it almost to be like, "Why don't you go get it?" Not thinking he would, and then he's like, "Okay, I will." But I think Maddie. I don't like him in this episode because if you're, he doesn't know I was crazy. So if you're dating this new girl and you're out on a date, you don't say like, "You know, what? I didn't get this essay. Let's leave our date and go meet my ex girlfriend." That's true. Right. Yeah. Right. But I think it's exactly what Eva wanted to happen. So that she can still look like the sweet angel to Jenna's demon. Right. She's like just going along with whatever he says. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so then, of course, you know, they go back there and Eva tries to lure Maddie into Jenna's bed. <laughs> um, that don't work. Maddie was like, no, I'm good. Like, not here. But he deletes all of the messages from Jenna in his phone, mm -hmm. which is a big step. You know, they're both trying to delete each other out of their lives, which I guess is the one good thing that Eva's helping them out with. That they're both finally separating Dunzo. themselves. Like, Dunzo for real -zo. <laughs> Um But then she lies and says she forgot something and goes back and plants her panties in Jenna's bed. Now, I don't know if this is a thing girls do. No. Do you keep extra panties in your purse? No, she obviously took off Or did her she take off hers off? off? Or did yeah. she just put a clean pair in there? Like, maybe no, she was planning she it. Hers off. Okay. No, I think she no, took I don't hers know off. if she knew I don't know. she ended okay. up in Jenna's bedroom. But either the, way, yeah. that girl's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And the trailer for this episode, too, I mean, obviously had us all a little bit confused. So they, they do that every job. week. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked it this time, though. So that's Yeah. That. <laughs> but I was glad that, they, that Maddie didn't actually go through with it. I want to talk about the confrontation at the school because Boom. I was... I don't know what I thought Jenna thought happened, but I was I was like, Jenna's like me right now thinking that they did something in her bed and she's yeah. going to be pissed off at everyone. Yeah. But Jenna was so mature in she the way that calm. she just yeah. calm, Liked cool. Yeah. She just walked yeah. in and was like, I don't know what That's games you're trying to so play. Much. Yeah, uh -huh. she's so like, I don't know the games you're playing right now, but yeah. I know Maddie would not F you in my bed. Right. So I don't want anything to do with it. I mean, she left Sadie speak speechless. Right. And then I love like, that she threw the panties back at her yeah. too because all, all the girls were like... <gasps> <laughs> and I love that it happened in front of the yeah, right in, in the front quad, of like in quad yeah, yeah. in the quad in front of other people. That it was, was a very badass moment. Yeah, I yeah. hope that the rumors get back to Maddie. Yeah, that was you know, dope. That Eva. And it was kind of cool too, just because Elizabeth is really tall, or Eva is really tall too. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you could see like her looking down on Jenna, <laughs> and Jenna was like, "No, right, uh -huh. yeah, right. like exactly. Like we will have none of that." Yeah. So all in all, I thought that was a great episode that's leading up to the season finale it's exciting. next Wait. week or the mid-season okay. finale I should say mid -season. Mid -season. so it's coming back kind of like how it was last yeah. season yeah. Right? Yeah. And like, and we're really on like over. season 8 but technically season 4 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. it's really <laughs> we don't know MTV <laughs> right <laughs> MTV's just trying to keep everyone here as long as they can. But it's exciting because we still have a lot of, you know, character twists and things that yeah. are going on. Okay, so can yeah. you tell us everything that's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> Just give she us wants some... me to get fired. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll no. Go back <laughs> <laughs> Just give us some teases as to, you know, what we can expect on the back half of the season. I mean, they really leave it to where you can't, ex like, you don't know where, like, you anything you might think is going to happen is just not. It's wow. it's it's going there. Like Chris and Mike are new, so they're really excited. Mm -hmm. They get to have these characters who've had like really crazy backgrounds, like you said. Lissa used to date Jake, and then now you see all these these new things that are coming up, but they're really familiar to the characters. So you just you'll be surprised about how things kind of yeah. just and there's 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 a lot going on. There's a lot going on. And you're a fan of the show because I'm a fan of I the mean, show you, for sure. I can tell that you're a fan of the show. So as a fan who also gets to be on the show, yeah. Can you say that the second half of the season that it's better than the rest? Um, better, better than the rest, meaning better than better the previous. than the previous seasons. Well, I think it's better just because it's a different perspective, like that new new confrontation with um mm -hmm. Jenna. Like you just see them mature and and really kind of moving on with their lives rather than like in the melodrama. It's like them transitioning out of it. So for me, I think like that's really cool because I'm in the same place I feel in my life. 
I'm transitioning from like adolescence into being an adult. Like I just got my own place and, you know, things like that. So it's really relatable. And I think like a lot of kids can relate. So it is. It's better to me. It's it's cool. I love watching it. Aww. That's cute. <laughs> we, we love watching it too, obviously. Yeah. So are you working on any other projects? Um, Right now I've been doing a lot of modeling in New York. Okay. I have a um, project coming out called Whiplash. It was just purchased by Sony. It did really well at Sundance, and um, that, that's something I'm excited to and, see. Okay. And yeah. that's with um, Miles Teller, Miles right? Miles Teller. Yep. I was and, uh, working with him. I'm a big fan it was, of It was too. great. It was a really quick thing, but, but me and Miles did have our scene together, so mm-hmm. it was great. I saw him recently with, with his whole press junket with, um, what was the name of his, his name? Um, Jason. Michael B. Jordan and, and Zach Efron. That awkward moment. That oh, moment. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Awkward. So yeah. For me. I, saw him at, I saw him at the premiere, and he was telling me about the whole Sundance experience. So I'm excited. I'm excited for that, yeah. for that to come out. Yeah. What is, um, if you can choose a dream role, what would it be? A dream role, huh? I don't know. Recently, I've been really wanting to, like, do something with the military. You know, something, like, really um, action-packed, but at the same time, like, like, you know, character based and filled with just a lot of like love and, and excitement and, you know, things like that. I just think like military and army and guns and stuff like that would be really cool. That is and cool. who yeah. do you want to play your leading lady? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. That's a good I don't question. know. <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> Top two. Top two. Like, two. Mm-hmm. Who would mine be? Leading lady. Shout out to my friend Ariel Miranda. She's beautiful. She's on Pretty Little Liars. I would love to work her on the film. Um, who else? I'm just gonna leave it at Ariel. She'll have it. Feel free okay. to mention Perfect. Tiana. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free. Ariel. Can have it. Um, yeah. All right. You guys want to get into some predictions for sure. yes. next week? And now okay. you're after Buzz TV predictions. <laughs> It's getting scary okay. up in here. <laughs> um, I may I start? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I predict that there's going to be a fight between e- between two parties. Okay. I think between Eva um, and Jenna, and also between Luke and Maddie, but mostly between oh my gosh, and Luke and Jenna. There's going to be a lot of fighting next episode. That's okay. What I like oh well, because while they're at the camping trip. Yeah. Does Sergio come camping? Can you tell us that? I don't know. Okay, I predict that Tamara, <laughs> not Tamara, Sadie and Sergio are going to bang. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to get, who are you, you're going to get with, are you going to get with Sadie? I have no idea, man. <laughs> I feel like oh my God. Are you going to get with Tamara? It would be no funnier idea. if you got with Lissa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you're going to, you. <laughs> I think I like it with Lisa. Yeah, Lisa. you're adopted. It doesn't count. Oh and she can be like, oh my gosh, it's okay. Jesus brought us together for yeah. this reason. She would say something she like would. that. That'd be so <laughs> fantastic. I don't know. I like that, Jason. I like Sadie her or Lissa. Sadie or Lissa? Yeah. Who do you guys want me to be with? I kind of want you to be with Sadie. I want you yeah. to be with Tamara. Tamara? Ooh. Not really. Yeah. Just, I, I think it'd be funny. Yeah. I think it, I don't know. I, I kind of like Lissa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I kind of like this whole like incestuous thing. I guess we'll see next week. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I'm Big have bear. To call in or it show. would be yeah. interesting if you're with Eva, actually. I wish. Oh. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I got it. Eva and Tyler are working together. They came to the school oh my God. for That's the it. sole purpose. They work for the FBI. <laughs> and they're trying to bust the drug ring. We need to hire her on the writing team. Yes. Right now. I no, figured it out, it, guys. You watch, we'll it see. turns into scandal. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think People come on missing. I think that's what I keep hoping is gonna happen. Like all of a sudden, Olivia Pope's gonna pop up at the school. I would love that. That would be amazing. I think that. That's oh my god, set you Tamara up, right? would totally be the Olivia Pope of this school. She definitely, she would. Anyways, so, <laughs> so what's your prediction? Um, my predictions are so jaded. Like, well, how can I predict anything? I just think I, mean, you can just I think us. I think there's gonna be a lot of crazy things because again, they're they're on their senior trip. They're going to the snow. As you see, everybody's like all in their feelings and emotions. There's so much craziness going on. So you can only imagine. Like, it's gonna be fun. Like, is there people... like a huge orgy? And it's and it's it's a double header. So we have more time. It's gonna be an hour long. Like, oh, I can't great. wait. Yeah, I know. Great things okay. are gonna happen. And then it leads us into the next ten. So there's gonna be some things that are cliffhangers. Things that just leave you 
all over the place for yeah. sure. Yay! Yeah. I can't wait to see what Tyler's cliffhanger. Is. Yeah, Tyler yeah. has some fun stuff too. Yeah, so you're gonna have episode. to come back in Definitely. next season to tell so Definitely. that you can tell and me next, that I was next right. Next season will be fun too. <laughs> next season will be fun okay. too, and I will. Yeah. I can't wait and to you get your... everything you guys have said. So <laughs> if you were right, you were right, you were right. No. If you get your sister pregnant. Oh my God! Is that your? <laughs> he really wants me to be. Is with that my your son. nephew or your son? I don't know. What would that? Uh, how would that work? Son. A nephew son. Okay. She's going to college. She doesn't need to be pregnant. We just we're kids. But I mean, stop trying to make Lisa and Tyler happy. She loves Jesus. She, loves Jesus. she loves Jesus. Okay. Yeah, and that's why it has to be her because she loves Jesus so much. It has yeah. to be her that ends up pregnant. Yeah. Right. right. That but, that's how it happens. All right, guys. Well, if, because, <laughs> if you guys want to keep this conversation going because it's a great conversation, <laughs> where can they find you guys on social media? I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Jason Eichler. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Miss ZS. Kofi? Twitter and Instagram at Kofi Sirbo. And you can find After Buzz TV at After Buzz TV. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at the Tiana Hobson. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us tonight. Thank you, Kofi, for being <laughs> Thank here. You guys Woo! Thank you. So Thank, you. Thank you so much. And until next week's finale, we will see you guys later. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.